Welcome back to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Um, our next major conversation this morning is going to be on something on human resources. There is a massive, massive program coming up in, um, what now, about one day, 22 hours, 55 minutes, and a couple of seconds. And we're speaking this morning with the convener of what is called HREA, um, Arefa Koka. And we're also joined this morning by a keynote speaker, Tim Salau. Good morning to you both. Hi, how are you? Hi, good morning. All right, so let me, let me start with, you know, of course, I mentioned there's a countdown, uh, uh, one day, 22 hours, and a couple of minutes. Um, what is HREA all about, and how long has it been in existence? So the HREA is an international um, conference. Initially, we started up as an HR uh, conference because we felt there was a need, there was a gap in the conferencing market for people to learn international conference. So we started by... It's expensive to go to an international conference, right? So we decided that to, um, to fill the gap in place, we, brought, we decided to set up this conference where we bring speakers from all over the world, yeah. including our own um, speakers in Nigeria, bring them into a room and get people to attend the conference without actually looking for cost of travel, cost of thing. And so we've been running that for the last uh, five, year, five years. This is our sixth one. Obviously, last year we had to go virtual yeah. because of COVID-19. <laughs> and um, so uh, this year we are still virtual. So we are, uh, we're running an hybrid event, which is in-person okay, and, vir and virtual. And last year, just before the start of COVID, we had uh, events transitioned from just an HR conference to an all-encompassing work festival with seven stages. Um, we're going to talk about one of the sessions we're talking about was um, digital, um, sorry, transformation and um, digital transformation in the workplace and things like that. We've been marketing since November 2019, okay. and then come March 20, sorry, come March 2020 to April, everybody moved to the digital transformation, COVID first digital <laughs> yeah, transformation yeah. in the workplace. You, you so these are those are topics that we've constantly spoken about since we started our um, conference in 2016. You know digital transformation, how people can work from home. I remember last, in 2019, we had um, um, a keynote, um, a keynote um, panel discussion, yeah. and we were talking about, and one of the questions I was asking the panelists was, would you like, allow your staff to work from home? And most of them, no, no, you know Nigerians, blah, 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 blah. Come well, 2020, well, it was forced upon everybody. Yeah, we're going to bring in Tim in a bit. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, want, I want to ask, you know, why you think uh, conversations on human resources are important in Nigeria? Um, do people care that much about it? Mm. Yes, because as the new generation is coming to the workplace, it's not business as usual. They want to understand, why well, am I coming to work for you? What is the benefit of working for you? What is in place? What is my, my mental well-being? Can I work flexible? Can I, what is the engagement? Mm. You know, it's all about, it's all about employer branding. Yeah. You have to brand. People have to know they want to work with you. They have to be proud to work with you as an organization. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a lot of unemployment in Nigeria, but the young generation coming up, the generation Z and the millennials, mm -hmm. they want to go into a workplace where they're proud of. They want to understand why they should work for you. Yeah. So you have to sell yourself as a business. So it's important that the organization understand how to manage their human resource, which is the most important asset in the organization and get them to um, and get just set the right places and what because the world is global now and obviously since March it's become more tinier <laughs> so smaller. everybody knows what's going on uh, in different organizations so can we dig deeper a bit mm. right so we are saying HR HR for somebody who just joined us explain who is the human resource person and then where is your focus is it on the branding of the organization or on the welfare of the workforce are you is, is there a middle ground let's let's talk okay, about so it. now you say we the human resource as i said to you our conference is expanded into not just for hr people because we realize that everybody must be part of managing whether you're a line manager you're managing your your, your colleagues within the office. Mm -hmm. You're managing their mental well-being. You're managing everything that surrounds them. So mm -hmm. you must understand how to manage people. You must understand what the organization... So it's about the people, not just the organization. It's wow. always about the people. Okay. Okay. So not right. about the organization. We're not trying to, to do. firefight. I want to bring in Tim. Yeah, you're a keynote speaker. Yeah. Um, so you look very excited to be here. <laughs> I am, I am. This one. So, so tell us about, you know, uh, the, the theme for this one is borderless work. Mm -hmm. So tell, tell us a little bit about that, you know, and what yeah. do you think people would learn or, you know, um, achieve if they are part of this conference? It's a powerful thing. Um, and I think what, what we're starting to realize is that with the decentralization of the workforce and the access to global distribution with the Internet, that work is completely borderless now. You do not have to go into an office yeah. to be productive. And 
if we are going to reflect on COVID-19, what we realize is that employees can work at home effectively. They don't need to be in an office to be productive. And top institutions and companies such as Microsoft, Google, us at Guide, we're also realizing the same thing. Are people as effective as they would be if they were, you know, um, in the workplace if they, when they work from home? Yeah, you know, I, I think that what we're starting to realize is that they're not. Um, and it doesn't really matter. Their distinction does not matter. It, what matters more so is are you creating that employee experience, employee branding? Um, and if you're creating that lifestyle experience for your people, they're going to love to work wherever. I mean, what we're currently now seeing as a theme is this idea of the hybrid workforce. And essentially, that means that people want optionality. Yes. They want to be able to work at home sometimes, and then they also want to be able to work in an office mm -hmm. sometimes. And I think what really hits home with that is actually this idea of what I love, going in on the personalized employee experience. How do you make it feel as if your people, no matter where they work, they feel connected to the brand? Okay. Can I ask this thing? The nine to five culture in Nigeria yeah. versus working from home. All right. Yeah. So which, which, is, which is it? How do you now undo the nine to five mentality? How do you tell an employer that your staff does not have to work for 10 hours to be productive? Yeah, yeah. How, how, do you intend to tackle that? Yeah, I love that you asked that because what we're actually currently seeing in the United States and America is that even companies mm -hmm. that have employees who have a nine to five, what they're doing is this really interesting thing called batch scheduling. Uh -huh. uh, and they're allowing their people to come into work within that nine to five at a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. right? And then allowing them to go home and spend time with their families, uh, be a part of their community, right? Go visit different villages. Um, in the area. And I think the same thing can apply to Niger, right? And the, uh, the community here in Lagos as well, uh, if you think about it, right? Because there's this very flexible structure. People are able to roam around. People can drive, right? And what we're actually seeing in America right now is that we're embracing the same mentality that we yeah. see here in Niger. It's very Absolutely. interesting if you think about it. Yeah. 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 Reduce the traffic in Lagos if everyone <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit, bit more about the other speakers that I invited. It seems like there's so, about 80 of them in yes. this one. We have um, various keynotes. We have the um, MD of um, Alliance Insurance, Nigeria, um, Adeo Luzer. We've got um, the MD of Airtel. Those are some of our other keynote speakers. We have Brenda Taga, who is going to talk about something interesting, the gas innovation, because, again, we're always talking about innovation. We have um, Sabrina G. We're talking about going to be talking to people, entrepreneurs, startups, or even people in business about the power of platforms. Because yeah. I think that um, entrepreneurs in Nigeria need to embrace platform using platform sales. And um, we have Uzoma Doze, who is going to be talking about fintech. And uh, we've got Professor Ndubisi Akeke, who is one of our keynotes, talking about okay. um, borderless work as well. And we have also of other speakers oh. talking about so we have seven stages actually we've got the leadership stage the well-being stage the human resource stage um the startup stage um africa um africa uh, sorry um but Africa and focus trend. Okay. It looks like you're going the whole you're going yes. the whole nine yards Absolutely. right all right Absolutely. but can i ask you said this is like the sixth year yes. into this yes. How successful have you been? Is it working? This festival you've been hosting, do you see any it's positive? A <laughs> <laughs> it's a labor of love. And because it's something we're passionate about. We are, I'm very intentional about building Africa. And mm. I believe that only Africa can build Africa. Mm -hmm. So for me, yes, we bring international speakers to come in. But most out of our 80 speakers, at least 70 of them are Africans and Nigerians working in Nigeria because we are the only ones that can build ourselves. Yeah, but so, how impactful is it? So that's, that's what I'm saying. saying. So yeah. the impact is, it... is because we are we coming to speak about issues in Nigeria uh, in Nigeria. Oh. It's been impactful because we're in the workplace. Mm -hmm. So it's fine. People uh -huh. like Tim coming uh -huh. coming because Tim is Nigerian, right? <laughs> well, he's okay, in America. Well, he sounds right. Yeah, yeah, he's in America. <laughs> so he comes in and tells us what is obtainable. Yes, in the Western world. But our speakers will marry what is obtainable and what we can do mm -hmm. here and make sure we get the best. And that's what we've been delivering for the okay. last um, six Smart. years. Um, it, it, I, I'm, I'm 
very excited every time I hear of a, a person, I'm going to Tim now, a person who um, used to work here in Lagos or work in Enugu or wherever, you know, who's got a job in Canada, mm -hmm. you know, and they're still in Enugu working, you mm -hmm. know, and, you know, earning now in foreign yeah. currency. Yes. So it's, it's, you know, it basically def defines borderless work. Mm -hmm. um, but do you think that we, we'll get to a place where every type of job, mm. can I work from home? I, I work on TV. <laughs> do you think we'll get to of that place you know, where yeah, every you, job will be able to? Of course, I think so. From home. You know right? what? You, you they did can. it throughout. They did it throughout the um, yeah, pandemic absolutely. in the US yes, and the UK. And, it was, you know, can't wait. was done. Tre tre you know, Trevor can't Noah. Wait. You remind me a lot of Trevor Noah. Actually, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Noah. He I can't home. wait. <laughs> I, I want to wear my boxer shorts and just wear this, you know, put this on. I think for people that work in the factory lines where you're manufacturing, yeah. there's actually, most jobs can be done from home and it's just embracing. Mm. And for me, what I've always preached, and as I said in 2019, is trust. Oh. Once there's a trust, there's a trust economy, that's what we have to build, especially in Nigeria. Mm. Once you trust that, trust mm. your employees that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. You don't need to monitor them. You don't need to be the mm. club's captain where you is. And... As long as we are result focused, forget about mm. at the end of the day, it's not hard work, it's not there for it's the result. So if you say to me, you need to deliver this by two o'clock, forget that if I'm going to get to my desk at 1.30 and deliver at two o'clock, yeah. I will deliver it. Right. Forget what I'm doing between nine o'clock and two o'clock, as long as I'm delivering yeah. that project by two o'clock. Makes a lot of sense, I'm telling you. So, yeah. so is time. this also about keeping an open mind? on the side of the employer now. That's what I said, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's open mind and just trust. Okay. Trust because they're adults. You trusted them to give them the job when they came for the interview. Trust that they can deliver on the job. Mm. Forget about they're using your, if you provide data for them, because obviously Nigeria is, data yeah. is key, mm -hmm. you know. They forget that they're using your data to watch Netflix as long as they're delivering on the job. It doesn't matter. They're adults. They know they're responsible for what they're supposed to do. And they'll deliver as a, when they're supposed to deliver. Okay. That's, all, yeah. that's all I think so the, employers need to be able to say to... There are, I mean, the Nigerian um, stories, you know, obviously comes with its own hitches here and there. The internet, you know, challenge is something. I saw someone post a song... Um, I think it was about two weeks ago that he couldn't get a job outside Nigeria because they complained about Nigeria's internet speed um, and all of that. Um, do you think this is going to be encouraging for people who attend this conference? It's going to be encouraging for them to apply for jobs outside Nigeria, knowing that they can work from home. You know what? I think it's, it's actually important that they apply for jobs within Nigeria and outside of Nigeria. Because what we're seeing is that the economy now is flexible with borderless work. So if you do want to freelance your talent, your services online, Feel free to, right? Because there are definitely people in America. We even at Guy, we work with a lot of Nigerian communities mm. um, and people in Niger, actually, and helping them with graphic design work. In fact, one of my co-founders, Taban Cosmos, he's going to be speaking at the same event um, okay. as well. And we do a lot of work with, uh, you know, children and kids in the Nigerian community online, right? <laughs> so that's and so this is us in America um, being able to come back. To Nigeria due to borderless work. And I think that's a powerful theme that can also apply to Nigeria. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds phenomenal. Absolutely. Um, what's the next, uh, how many days is this going to be running? It's for two days. Two so it starts on Wednesday and it finishes on Thursday. Oh. How do you push in 80 speakers in two days? <laughs> uh, because we run sessions simultaneously, um, they run concurrently. Okay, so okay. we have seven sessions running concurrently oh, okay. every hour. So you Choose what you want to attend. So we're not forcing you to sit down and listen to the team if you don't want to listen to the team. <laughs> Just listen to your listen favorite speaker. To There's something you said earlier on that yeah. uh, this is, it is evolved into a work festival. Yes. It's not just the HR it's anymore. It's not just focused on HR people. Right, which is a good thing, right? Yes. So, so what are some of the other things you're going to focus on? We're going on? to talk about technology. As I said, we're talking about fintech. We are, obviously, I'm so excited about fintech. Oh, okay, it's sure. Like the, it's so sexy in Nigeria oh, now. really? <laughs> you know, there are some fintech work. Fintech is say, sexy? No, there's some <laughs> I said in Nigeria, it's so sexy. We have... We have our stories. We have Face right. Back. We have um, Flute yeah. Away. Those yeah, are true. our success stories. So true, it's make true, true, true. Yeah. We're talking about um, wellness, mental well-being, protecting yourself. Because you find that uh, when we work from home, especially as Nigerian employees, as I said, mm -hmm. we because we want to, I'm an employer, right? And I understand that people want to overplease their staff. They want them mm -hmm. to understand that they're working. You find that they work beyond, yeah. even in the UK, Studies have shown that people work, they take meetings longer because you're working from home, you work longer than you should, even more than your nine to five. Mm. And people are also suffering from fatigue, mm. Zoom fatigue, mental fatigue. So we yeah. need to talk about things like our right. mental well-being, 
even our financial well-being right. is very important for employers yeah. to be interested in the financial well-being of their staff. <laughs> and those are the things that we are pushing sure. with the Work Festival. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Team, team, what are you most excited um, you know, to talk about in, in this next two days? You know, I, I think it's this idea that the workforce is becoming decentralized. And it, it just fits into the, the theme of borderless work. And I, that's a really powerful theme because it, what, it, what it means is that now that talent it's not nested to a location, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? And that's actually really powerful because that means that talent has the optionality to work here, whether it be in Lagos, or to, you know, offer your services in America as well. So that means you're able to get money from multiple dimensions and angles, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, that's powerful. So it I'm is. really excited to talk um, to that because that fits in the theme of a uh, borderless work. Okay, and uh, you know, there's a, I saw something on your website also networking, yes. uh, which is also going to be happening a lot in yes. the next two days. Yes, mm -hmm. so we've got speed networking. Um, it's on the virtual app. So every 10 minutes, we're yeah. going to get everybody to speed network. Wow. So you can speak to as many people as you want to talk to mm. and just um, get to know yourself, exchange contacts and just build a relationship. Oh, your network good. is your net <laughs> what? Is your network. You're whetting my appetite already, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, so is there a process, you know, for those that are interested? So go onto our website, www.hrsboafrica, and click on register. You can choose to attend um, the virtual session or the in-person. Any person is limited to just um, 300 people because of um, the COVID-19 restrictions. And um, voila, you're in. <laughs> okay, all right. Sounds um, good. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited really about the conversation concerning borderless work and, you know, where we're headed. And I hope that Nigeria will not, you know, be slow with this. You know, let's get everyone to understand the idea of borderless work, of virtual work, of, um, you know, basically being able to, and also, you know, better treatment of, of employees mm -hmm. um, in, the, in the workspace. Right. Um, a lot of Nigerian employers need to understand that, you know. You know. True. 100%. Oh, God. <laughs> It's one day, 22 hours, uh, 39 minutes, and as at this moment, 24 seconds left to the HREA Work Festival. And um, it's been very, very interesting speaking with Erefa Koka. Absolutely. Who's the convener and uh, Team Salau. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. Welcome. And we hope that uh, many more people get involved with this. We'll be um, right back after this short break. Stay with us.